make Tia Fimo look so silly that him and his dad, he won't even come out. One of them rounds, he ain't going to come out. You're going to stop him. You guys Absolutely. Gonna stop him. In the corner, on the stool. In the corner. That's called, on the stool, that's called whipping his ass. Who else got two ducks on the pound for pound list other than Devin? On the pound for pound list. I mean, I don't what mean, fighter got two other two other guys on the pound for pound list that wouldn't fight him at the same time? Two fighters on any anybody's pound for pound list. That's why Devin holds the A boogeyman status. That's it right there, bro. Enough said. I love I love my people. I love I love everybody. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't bullshit you. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 giving it to you real. You know, I look forward to you know uh, November the seventh. Uh, Gamboa, uh, we we as a family appreciate him, you know, as as a challenger, you know, to step up because these other guys, you know, they have a problem, they have a problem with, and it's no reason, it's 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 uh, it's for a reason that Gamboa yeah, will 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 be in the uh, boxing hall of fame. It's a reason. He steps up when it's time to step up, and he sees something in the twenty one year old that makes him want to step up to the challenge. You know, and we and we are gladly uh, have accepted it. Yes, sir. November seventh, tune in, and I think you should change Devin Haney nickname from the dream to the nightmare. Because, to the nightmare. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you, everybody well, has nightmares about them. You know what I mean? They don't even have dreams. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said before, they want to say who Devin Haney fought, who Devin Haney fought. He ain't fought nobody. He ain't fought nobody. You only could fight who's willing to fight you. And hey, but the, the, co the cold thing about it is, is Devin is the only one that he wants to fight T.O. Nobody else is saying he want, they want to fight T.O. T.O. is looking for somebody to fight. He's talking about, oh, I'm thinking about them people ain't thinking about you, uh, Mr. Lopez. Right. You so, got so. a fight on your hand with, with, with Devin Haney. Yep, two young bulls, two young lions, two young champions, but willing to make history, so that fight has to be next. We'll make T.O. Fimo look so silly that him and his dad, he won't even come out. One of them rounds, he ain't gonna come out. You're gonna stop him. You guys absolutely gonna stop him. in the corner on the stool. In the corner. That's called on the stool. That's called whipping his ass. <laughs> man, like I said before, that's the fight we all want to see, Bill. I appreciate you every single time, man. At the end of the day, tune in November seventh. You guys are gonna see fireworks. Yeah, you guys see the WBC champion of the world, Devin Haney. Live access, all access. The real WBC champion of the world. You know how we do it. We ain't here working, man. I was going to ask you, did you see the top rank WBC belt, the, the Rupla kit belt, that top rank handed Tia Fimo right after the fight? I got it with me right now. I got it with me right now. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? He got the belt right there. The I got the belt right here. The belt, the belt got it right there. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, we know who the WBC World Lightweight Champion is. And if anybody wants the real belt challenge, Devin for it. That's yes, what this shit is about, man. I'm going to step out the gym because he finished. He was just doing abs. So we can rap, bro. All right, I know you probably can hear me a little bit better now, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's been a lot of complaints in the media over too many titles in the sport of boxing from the super franchise to the regular. So how is it possible that a big entity like ESPN promotes a fight between T.O. and Lomachenko is undisputed when the real WBC champion is Devin Haney? Now, doesn't that hurt the credibility of the sport? Yeah, well, no, like I explained time and time again, but I don't mean to cut you off because it's an excellent question. Um, you know, how do we feel about all these different narratives and stuff being painted that's not true on a network uh, such as ESPN, a big platform like ESPN? Well, I mean, just like anything else, if you follow politics, you follow, you know, what's going on with uh, in the whole world with the, the presidential uh, uh, race. I mean, you see a lot of different things that are, are said that are not true on, on, on big networks like Fox, CNN and those alike. So, you know, I say I say that to just say that we need the people to use their intelligence, use their, their, their minds, use their thinking caps, and just take a look at the record books. Go to the record books. Fuck what they said. Fuck what they said. Go to the record books. Type in.
who is the lightweight champion, boxing lightweight champion of the world? You have Devin. You go to Box Rec, you'll have Devin. You know, you go, I mean, you go to ESPN, you, you'll see Devin. So, I mean, clearly in the record books, he is the WBC lightweight champion. And I know people want to confuse and draw up fake narratives, you know, but the, but the real intelligent people that want to, that are on this phone, that, that are, of course, uh, um, on an app such as YouTube, well, you can also go ahead and Google, use the same app and Google, and Google the information. Don't just listen to what they're saying, bro, you know? Um, if you look at the, the, the picture, the lately that, that the brother then posted, you know, and, and I was all for him, you know what I'm saying? But the, the king, you can't be the king of the division and post Devin's belt. The belt he got has franchise on it. And the picture, the king is, is a picture with Devin's belt. So that's why we said that's a replica. It cannot be his belt, you know, and you can only fight for one, one belt in the organization with the WBC. You fought for the franchise belt. You didn't fight for the lightweight belt. So you ended up with two belts in the ring on that night. And one of the belts was a, re a replica for sure. Did you for see sure. The logo, the top rank logo on the belt? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got a belt over there. So, you know, you know how you got to earn it. You got to go to WW wbcboxing.com and then you point in and then you look okay they said he's the wbc champion go to www wbcboxing.com go on the website and see who the champion is but but you can also purchase the belt from uh, from google too if you want to purchase one like like the one ryan got and all the other yeah. but you, but you might get in trouble too for counterfeit you know what i mean <laughs> if you pose if you pose it as something else Treat it as um, 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 memorabilia, you know, treat it as anything else, but that you didn't fall. And what, the way he said email and champion and all this, bro, what is the belt? What is that belt you posing with? Oh, so top rank counterfeited a WBC belt because that's what they pretty much did. They could get in trouble for that, can they? Yeah, I don't, yeah, especially, I mean, for pictures, especially if you if you saying something to the people that that's not true, right? That's not true. Right. So um, you take a picture with the belt. You take a picture with the belt that looks like the real belt, but it's not really the real belt. On national TV. On, on national TV. If you had on some knockoff shoes or a knockoff sweater, chances are I don't even need to see your jewelry because it's knockoff too. <laughs> we don't need to do the diamond tester. Right, right. Because it's knockoff. You're wearing knockoff. They got knockoff shit going over there. And I'm going to tell you this. All right, listen, to the people that, that feel like I might be wrong is if you go to the record books and you say that the record books ain't true, then we can't believe nothing. You can't believe Floyd. You can't believe Canelo. You can't believe no record. But if, we, if we're going to collectively and intelligently say we're going to pay attention to the record books, fuck what y'all were saying, we're going to pay attention to the record books, then let's go to the record books and take a look. So it's not going to be it's not going to be viewed as undisputed against undisputed when it's not in the record books as undisputed now. It's just a bunch of people that are saying false shit. Right. Yes, you know what I mean? It's just a bunch of people saying false shit and trying to drive the shit right now. But in the long run, when his grandkids sit on his lap and they take a look through history, it's it's all wrong. So I mean, we're not you we're we're as a people, we used to that happening. You know what I mean? I'm I'm with Mike McCallum every day. I know how they're gonna try to rewrite the history. It's top rank. Oh, matter of fact, okay, so Lomachenko, I'm gonna give you a perfect example of, of false shit. They had Lomachenko on there as undefeated. It sucks. Before. Right. So they're not they're not beyond saying the wrong shit. They said the wrong shit. People trying to run with it. He took a picture with a belt that that's not his. It's three, so it's three, it's three belts in a replica. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, you think I'm capping, go to the record books then. Box Red keeps record. ESPN got records. The Wikipedia is records. I mean, go to the record books. Fuck what I'm talking about. The record books have Devin Haney as a real WBC champion. The facts say Tio is a unified champion. So what's your take on him saying he want to become undisputed in two divisions back-to-back, fighting the winner of Josh Taylor, Merez? 
All I roads, all to... roads go through, all roads go through Devin Haney, and we, you're gonna see, you're gonna see shortly. You guys gonna see. We've been running this shit, you know. Period. They can say everything about Devin, and but they won't say let's fight. You know, if he's a fly, guess what you do to the fly? You, you smash it. So if Devin Haney a fly, you're only a fly away from undisputed. You should squash the fly. Now, if that fly happened to be an eagle, you ain't going to be able to smash it. Teofimo Lopez, undisputed champion. Well, according to facts, according to numbers, he's not. A Wikipedia, box rec, according to ESPN, he's not. People lie, women lie, numbers don't lie, and it's facts over emotion. So in order for him to be undisputed, like you said, he need to go through that fly in order to be undisputed. Don't tell me a fly going to stop you from getting to your goal. Don't tell me that. So you ain't you making excuses that T.O. ain't even making because T.O. called out Devin. If he's just a fly, squash him. That's all we're saying. So. Wait, um, who would you like to fight? out? Of, you know, obviously some attractive options there at lightweight. Who would you like to fight the most? Um, I don't mind being the two-time email world champion. You know what I mean? Uh, that'd be fine. You know, I know a lot of people are already saying that this is not for undisputed because of that. Uh, whatever with uh, Mauricio Suleiman and whatever he did, but I just got a belt that said franchise franchise world champion. So from the WBC, um, and you got a guy like Devin Haney fighting Gamboa, a washed-out Gam Gamboa, just for a record that he wants to keep it safe and pretty. Um, I can fight those guys. I don't mind it. Do, do you think Haney would fight you next, assuming he beats Gamboa? I don't care. I don't think any of these guys will step up to the plate. And if they do, they better be ready because um, I don't fear no man. I told you guys this. I don't care. I'm in there to fight. And if you're not there to fight with me, you're going to lose. Thank like you. Loma. How pretty. Hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. I still got the world. I still got the world. I still got the world. Bear witness, there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the bungle fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.